Hey y'all, what's up? This is Ray Mack from Ray Mack's Kitchen and Grill. Today what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a some, some potato and onion pouches on the grill. All right, this is what I got. I got some aluminum foil. Anyway, you'll see as I go along right quick. Let me get some of this stuff out the way. And what I'm using is these little red potatoes right here, okay? These little red potatoes. And I'm gonna break down these ingredients as I go. All right, so here I got me some shredded onions. All right, I got me some potatoes that I already cut up. And then I have some other potatoes here. And just in case you guys don't know, I cut these up in little quarters. So you can cut them up any way that you like. And it's an easy way to assemble these, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you how I assemble these pouches. So, I got some aluminum foil. And you can do these in the oven too. So I got me some aluminum foil. Put these gloves on for you right quick. It ain't gonna take me no time. And like I said, these are going on the grill. And I'm putting these on a gas grill. And these are potato and onion pouches. You guys got to try this. Like I said, you can cook this inside also. And this is a great, great recipe. So, how we start? Take a few of these here potatoes, because I'm gonna make three pouches today. And I'm gonna show you right now how I assemble one pouch. So I got me some potatoes in the first pouch. Put a little bit more. You know, it might be enough to go around. There's only three people eating these. So I'm gonna make three pouches. So I got some potatoes. Alright. And that. Now I'm gonna take me some of these here shredded onions. Put them right on top. You don't have to organize nothing. Just put them right on top of it. And I think that should be enough of that. Now, as far as the seasoning goes, let me slide this down because I'm gonna make, gonna make two pouches up right quick. At least I can kill two birds with one stone while I got you guys here with me. So, I'm just gonna turn the camera around to the other one. I want you to see this right quick. All right, so I got my uh, my potatoes. Like I said, I got some uh, Luma foil square sheet, just small enough to where I could fit this on the pouch and just fold it up. So I put me some potatoes there. Good enough, a little bit more. They love this stuff. I made this many, many times. And like I said, it's easy. This is easy. Make this for your family and friends and they will definitely be impressed. Alright. So now, since I got the onions on there with the potatoes, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season these bad babies up, take these gloves off real quick. I'm going to my spice rack. So first thing I wanna do is got me some salt. Okay. Throw some salt on it. You ain't gotta put too much. We're gonna put some more um, stuff on here that might contain a little bit more um, salt. So we got um, some salt. Then we have some black pepper. We're gonna put that black pepper on that. All right. I'm gonna leave these ingredients below for you guys and all you have to do is just click on the show more section. All right, so I got some black pepper on it. I'm gonna put some of this here soul food seasoning on it, just a little bit. That's just all purpose seasoning. That's all that that soul food seasoning is. It's something that I put together, but it's just some all purpose seasoning. I'm, going, I'm pretty sure you can find you some all purpose seasoning in the store. Um, then I'm gonna put just a little bit of the Obey seasoning. Just a little bit. I don't want to over salt these potatoes and onions. Alright. So those are my four seasonings. So the next thing I'm gonna put on here is gonna be some herb. And I'm gonna squeeze in some thyme leaves, alright? Gonna take those thyme leaves. Get it in there. I think time goes well with 
um, some potatoes. Put it on the other one also. All right. So the last, well, it's not the last thing, but as far as the last thing with herbs, I'm putting on some parsley flakes. Sprinkle some right on top. Now these are potatoes and onion pouches. There we go. I want you guys to get this a try now. I'm guaranteeing you, um, you're gonna love them if you fix them for yourself, you fix them for your family. I guarantee you're gonna love them. Um, this is a quick and easy side dish for whatever meal you got going on, whether it's in the house or in the grill. So I got me some butter. I'm just gonna take a nice little um, dollop, put that right on top. All you need is just like one tablespoon of butter. Just put that on top. Now, after you got your butter on there, this is all we're gonna do. Fill it on up. You see how easy that was? Then we're gonna seal this one up. That's our two pouches. That's how it is. Seal them up. You ain't gotta be fancy closing them. Just seal them up. So I'm gonna move these two to the side. Now, I'm gonna show you how I cut these potatoes real quick, all right? Just showing you how I cut the potatoes. So I took a potato, all right? Split it down the middle, and just while it's flat, put it on the flat surface, cut that in, come across it, turn it across, cut that in. There you go. Same thing here. Come across it, all right? and then turn it around, and then that's all you wanna do. So I'm gonna do these to make the other pouch. But in the meantime, in between time, when I get this other pouch ready, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the grill, and we'll go from there, so I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put these on the grill right now. All you gotta do is set them on the rack. So I got me some ribs on here, and this is what I'm gonna have with my ribs. And I can just let these sit up here about a good hour, or even 45 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour. And on here, the ribs will be finished since it's a great gas grill. It'll be finished within about, say about, about a good hour and a half or so. All right, so we'll be right back when these potatoes and ribs are done. Show you the finished product. Y'all put some of this here muddy water on these ribs. I call this muddy water. It's like a basting salt. Muddy water. Love it. Yes, indeed. I love it. Look and see how easy this recipe really is. Easy cleanup. You could just throw away the full packet. You don't have to wash no dishes at all. You could do this on the grill. You could do it in the oven. I guarantee you, you will love it along with your friends. If you want to see more videos like this, more recipes like this, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the um, notification bell below. All right. I want to thank you guys for becoming a part of the Ray Mac family. And there is no one greater than you all. So thank you so much. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. And I want to say peace and I love you all.
on Sundays, we will be trying something new. It is called Subscriber Shoutout Sunday. So if you have a YouTube channel and you would like to have a shout out for your channel, all you have to do is go to the show more section and fill out the subscriber form and you will get a shout out from Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. Now, this is another thing I like for you guys to do. Visit me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And also subscribe to my channel by clicking on my picture and you can also check out this video while you're here so thank you love and not hate peace love you all before i go love somebody and hate nobody peace